And we are alive. All right. So let me, I would just keep working on this. I don't know if I'm going to get done with it tonight, or if we do, we do. We don't, we don't. Adding yellow and green. too dark. Need a little more yellow in that and light green. Hey, Anthony, how are you doing? <sighs> yeah, I think we'll have yeah, more Celtic as we go along. That's a little different than I normally do. And after this one, we'll probably go to like a Portland scene or, or something like that. I don't know, it just felt like something different, kind of something cheery on the, uh, with all the you know, colder weather and stuff like that. There we go. Okay, let's, let's get right into the tree here. I think I'm going to turn this overhead light off. That's causing a huge glare. I see that. There we go. Keep talking about it. One of these days I'm going to replace that light bulb that causes so much of that. It's kind of stupid that I haven't done that.
going away here, doing our thing. I'm going to get a smaller brush here. So how are you doing, Anthony? You doing well? Hey, Diane! My God, you're alive. You're awake. Yay! <laughs> yep. It's 8.05 here. <laughs> I know. And they said this might be the last year we do this. They've been saying that now for about three or four years, so who knows? Macho. God, why do I have that stupid song on their head? <laughs> oh, God. Start working on this tree here. Pitch black here. Gosh, I tell you. It's only a few things I don't like about winter. I don't like the rain. I don't like the darkness. And I don't like the cold. Besides that, winter's fine. <laughs> Pop my vitamin D and wine. <laughs> oh, I tell you. Here we get you through it. <whistles> yep, gonna have that song under my head. So how are you doing, Diane? How was prison? Uh, I've been spreading rumors about you. I want you to know that. Come up with something colorful. Yeah, you're used to snowbirds down there. <laughs> Couldn't believe how fast it changed here. We had been hot, dry, drought situation. Not anymore. <laughs> Boy, that just disappeared. Mount Hood is uh, getting dumped with huge amounts of snow. I think the uh, ski resorts are going to be open here pretty soon. It gives you an idea. 
We literally went from just terrible drought and hot, dry weather to flooding. <laughs> Uh, all at once. We're now in our permawet, permawet look uh, situation. Nothing ever dries out totally. Macho, macho man. <laughs> no idea. No idea why that's going through my brain. <laughs> oh, macho man. <laughs> the village people. Do you do do? Oh, God, I'm going <laughs> to. In the Navy. The <laughs> love boat. <laughs> oh, God. Captain Stubings, you know. Remember him from uh, actually the actor, uh, oh, what the heck is uh, Gail something? Um, yeah, he was uh, he was on the Mary Tyler Moore show. <laughs> the love boat. <laughs> Surprised they haven't made a remake of the Love Boat, but they said it was actually quite expensive of a series because uh, they actually went out on that darn ship, and you can imagine, uh, that wasn't cheap. The Love Boat. I, that's all I know about the song. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Yep, Murray from uh, the Marita. I I grew up on the Marita Tyler Moore show. Oh, I tell you, they had some really great characters. You think about that, and I always remember. Um, boy, my brain's dead tonight. Um, oh, God. What? Well, she just recently died. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot her name. Um, she played uh, the slut. <laughs> Oh, cats. Uh, what's her name? Oh, cats. Driving me nuts. Uh, oh, good grief. That's going to drive me up a wall. I can't come up with that name. No, no, it's, um, oh, heck, what was the name of uh, the actress? Uh, she just recently died. Oh, she was so famous because, you know, they thought she was going to make it to 100. Oh, God, I can't believe I, for I forgot her name. Yeah, but she, she said, I remember an interview with her. She was saying, I would have paid Mary Tyler Moore for that position because she, said, she had always had this squeaky clean sweet. Uh, a, a thing, and then she, no, no, not Angela Lansbury. She wasn't on there. Oh, God, yeah, 
just recently passed away, too. Oh, God. I can't believe I can't come up with her name. <laughs> I fell about. <laughs> Guys, it's amazing how many uh, people have been on the love boat. Betty White, that's it. You get the big gold star. <laughs> God, how do I forget Betty White? <laughs> Gosh, but she played the uh, the the uh, cooking person on on their show. Oh gosh, she was hilarious. She she literally said, "I said I would have paid I would have paid Mary Tyler Moore to be on that position because she says it, it would have allowed me to get rid of that squeaky clean." <laughs> I thought that was so funny. The love boat. Oh. Romance. <laughs> oh, gosh. I grew. Yeah, I, it was. What was that? The Saturday night lineup? You watched The Love Boat and then you watched Fantasy Island. You know. <laughs> Betty White. Yeah, well, Angela Lansbury was a classic all by herself. I mean, holy cow, she was. I remember her as a little kid. I watched Bets, Knobs, and Broomsticks, you know. Uh, I remember standing in the line to watch that. <laughs> um. The Saturday night lineup, yep. That's what you, you stayed in. You watched Fantasy Island and uh, The Love Boat. It started out with The Love Boat and then ended with Fantasy Island with Ricardo Matabon. <laughs> Always, I saw an interview with Ricardo Matabon. He said his absolute favorite character he's ever played in his life was Khan from uh, Star Trek II. He said... He said, oh, my God, it was the first part he was able to get his teeth into, he said. He said it was awesome. They always had him horribly miscast. But um, Fantasy Island was a, his, his baby. Yes, good. I'm going to quick get done with this one tonight, but I think we're going to get done with it tomorrow. Key for me is not to get stupid with it. Oh, I need it. Now I got the love book. It's all your fault. I want you to know that for having the love book go through my head. Slaughter was the character's name in uh, 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 Mary Tyler Moore. And that was another lineup. You had the Mary Tyler Moore show, and then you had uh, the Bob Newhart show, both produced by M Mary Tyler Moore. Yeah, it was interesting. Uh, he'd be in uh, Spokane several times because his son was going to uh, college there in uh, Spokane. They'd have Bob Newhart <laughs> coming throughout. Yep.
everywhere can say that I had the personality of an accountant and I made millions off of it. <laughs> now what we're doing, we're just shading this uh, sun so it gets a more and more feel of three-dimensional. Romans, the love boat. Oh, dear. <laughs> Con, Con. <laughs> I remember him in that uh, the original one. It was the original Star Trek, you know. And uh, yeah, God, that was the. I still think that's uh, Star Trek Two. Wrath of Con is still my favorite Star Trek of the movies. That, just personally, you know, everybody has their own one they like, but uh, for some reason that one I always liked. Because the, the first Star Trek was, in my opinion, was horrible. You know, the uh, the first movie, the motion picture, and then, but uh, then Khan, that, that kind of rescued it. Remember uh, Ricardo Montalban and his uh, Cordoba, you know, with the Corinthian leather. <laughs> And, and and Christ admitted to them. They said that's absolutely bogus. There is no such thing as a Corinthian leather. <laughs> I remember uh, when I was going to college up in Bellingham, which is uh, Bellingham is on the border of Canada and Washington State, uh, very close to the border at least. And they have this uh, drive that's called Chuckin' It Drive. And it's really beautiful. It goes along the, the uh, sound there. And it's a really one of those classic twisty roads. And they'd always film the, the um, commercials for the Cordoba in there. So you see uh, Ricardo Montalban. Everyone's coming out of Bellingham. It was funny. Beautiful, beautiful place, though. Absolutely. You can't beat that for looks. Oh, dear, dear. Now I got love boat going through the head. Watch out. <laughs> the love boat. <laughs> oh, boy. If I had a psychiatrist come through, they'd commit me immediately. The love boat. <laughs> I'm looking for my yellow here. My raisin ad here. <laughs> My Cordoba with Corinthian leather. <laughs> I think my sister actually owned the Cordoba. Grandma bought one for her. I remember right. The Cartoba. The love boat. Romance. <laughs> oh, you boy, you know what? You got something started here. <laughs> I don't know. It'd be kind of cool if they came out with a love boat. I I think it would be kind of cool if they came out with a science fiction version of the love boat. <laughs> Anthony, you're disturbed. <laughs> They said that single-handedly pretty much launched the cru uh, cruising industry. Which I wouldn't doubt it. 
God, you think it, it's so fun to look at some old pictures from the love boat and you see all these people who became big celebrities, you know, and ah, they were all on the love boat. The love boat. Commit me now. That's blue. We don't want to blue. Romans, the love book. <laughs> oh, God. He was like one of the, the actor that um, Gavin McLeod. That's his name, Gavin McLeod, and he was uh, one of those actors. After uh, Mary Tyler Moore, I think everybody figured, well, that's it for your career, and they ended up uh, with the Love Boat thing, and ended up doing quite well. It's all right, but we're just sketching these in real quick. Oh, wow. oh my <laughs> Boom, boom, boom. Uh, the original love boat was actually Princess, uh, Princess uh, Lines. Yep. Been on a few cruises. Kind of interesting. I think the last one was enough for me. But it was, it was still fun. Okay, so we're going to here do this. I was on the um, Solstice, which is a beautiful ship. And then I was on the biggest ship, a uh, cruise ship in the world at the time, and that was the uh, Oasis of the Sea. Huge. It was ridiculous. You know, it would dwarf, it would dwarf an aircraft carrier. Yep, yep, he lived to a ripe old age. The <laughs> Captain Stubing. Yeah. Murray Slaughter and uh, 
Mary Tyler Moore show is Captain Stubian and on the uh, on Love Boat. That was quite the lineup. That was a Saturday night lineup. I remember sitting there, TV come on and uh, Love Boat, and there it was. <laughs> The plane, the plane. <laughs> oh, gosh. He's using um, yellow ochre here. It's interesting, the, um, uh, the original uh, Fantasy Island, if you look at the first season, they had regular Jeeps in it. And then you saw them, they had the lower, uh, low-lying cars. And the reason for that was, uh, uh, oh, God, what's his name? The actor that played uh, 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 Tattoo, Tattoo, was it his name? And, the thing, and he, uh, he couldn't get in and out of the darn because of his height. He had a hard time getting in and out of the Jeeps. And so they, they modified him. I thought that was kind of cool that they did that. Hello, Donna. Greetings and salutations. <laughs> Romance. We're, we're, we're humming the uh, love boat theme right now. I just want you to know that. <laughs> yep, that's, that's the actor. Yeah. They... He needed to uh, uh, alter the cars, and I think he saw that happen in the next year, the next season. Romans, the love boat. Oh, gosh, I'm going to have that going through my head forever. Romans, and that's all I know about the song. All right, getting our sun here, add a lot of color to it. Celtic sun, or as Anthony would call it, the uh, raisin sun. <laughs> Oh, I know. I know. That was one thing what Carlo Montalban talked about, you know, and he says they never knew how to cast me because they, you know, they already, I think he was originally from Mexico City, if I remember right. He said that's one reason why he loved uh, Khan. He said that was the first one he could really get his teeth into.
I mean, the blatant racism of Hollywood back in that day and age. Holy cow. I mean, we just, cr I cringe when I look at some of those older movies. You're just like, oh, you know, holy cow. You know. You know, another one that was actually would be considered controversial for its day and age was I Love Lucy. There she was married to Desi Arnaz, who was, a, you know, I think I think Desi Arnaz was originally from Cuba, if I remember right. You know, and that day and age in the thinking, it was like, you know. I'm going to have that song going through my head, the love boat theme. I just want you to know that. It's all your fault, Anthony. I just want you to know that. <laughs> and Diane, you're not off the hook. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to work on this tree a lot more. I still think it's amazing with uh, Lucille Ball, though. Uh, she was the powerhouse behind Star Trek. If it wasn't for Lucille Ball, Star Trek would have never, ever got off the ground. She was the money. Desilu uh, uh, Productions, and she, uh, I thought it was... Uh, it was her, and she was the one that made it happen. All right, opening something here, you probably can hear it. All right. The love boat. <laughs> Desilu. Yeah, if you take a look at the original Star Trek, it was Desilu uh, Productions, and uh, that was her. She said, I think we got something here. Nobody else would touch it with a 10 foot pole. And she said, You know, I think we've got something. And the rest is history. And they said, That makes her probably one of the most influential people in the 20th century. And the reason for that is because they said, Take a look at all your tech giants. Take a look at Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, all those people were. Trek fanatics, and they said if it wasn't for her that launched that thing, it's very possible that would have never happened. Isn't that, isn't that wild to think about? Oh. Back in here. Yeah, I'll be flying to Spokane here pretty soon, holding my breath for the weather. 
Spokane gets as much snow as Buffalo. So it gives you an idea. I have more than once <laughs> had a flight canceled because they couldn't get in. It wasn't for my niece. She's uh, due with a, uh, I'm going to have a uh, nephew, a great, great nephew here pretty soon. Hmm. <laughs> oh, and I've seen you, Susan, and I'm so glad that you're feeling better. Ugh, no fun. The love boat. <laughs> yeah, we'll do, be done with this one next next go around. Not quite here. I just want to clean up everything, but I think I think we'll be done tomorrow. So we're gonna work on this background too. I wonder what the hell is that? Just an idea I've been having. So I had both my Arizonian people. Arizona. <laughs> Uh oh, did we have a? Oh, Lord. We had another one coming on. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't know what the heck it is with these people. Why do they think that? Oh. Thanks for uh, taking care of that, Anthony. Now, if we could just send an electrical shock back to him. <laughs> Zap! <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Arizona. Out, that's too thick. Gives you big lumpy stuff. So what I want to do? So got my jet up good. Put red, white. I don't know where those people come from. It's just like, oh yeah, let's have a, uh, no, that's okay. <laughs> Thanks for getting that. You know, I have never been to Alaska, never been there. Uh, I used to know a lot of people from Alaska, you know, because uh, when I went to college, they, there was a, I had a roommate that was from Anchorage. I heard it's quite beautiful. 
Oh, I have never seen the the, the, the Aurora Borealis. I, that's on my bucket list. And we've had a couple of times that down here in Portland, uh, it was visible, but I wasn't, you know, up or whatever. And I that is one of my bucket lists. I really would love to see that. Coldest weather I've ever been in is, uh, I, I think it was close to 50 below zero. And I tell you what, that's just stupid when it gets that cold. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I remember that one. I was in Germany. Holy crap, all this. I was like, oh, <laughs> this is cold. <laughs> Keep adding to this tree here now. Oh, I couldn't help myself. Sorry, I got excited. Yeah, we'll be definitely be done with this tomorrow. Oh, couldn't help myself. Got excited again. All right. Gonna have this tree somewhat flowering. Ah, and that's where you get there. Our famous buffalo wings is from Buffalo, New York. My nephew lives in Buffalo. And he's getting married in October, so I'll be in Buffalo in October. <laughs> Made it to my niece's wedding in New York. And then um, my other nephew, he decided not to have a ceremony. So we didn't, didn't get together. And he's now in the Navy. So in the Navy, they sail the seven seas. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, Mike's lost it. A very uh, cool uh, niece and nephews. In the Navy, you sell the seven seas. <laughs> oh, like, okay, Mike, yeah. Time for you to start sniffing glue again. <laughs> yeah. 
get this done. Yeah, a little different than I normally do. I went through Tuscany on a bus and then, uh, but I was in um, Rome. Uh, the Pope needed to see me, but that, that's another story. But, um, uh, I told to shut up too, you know, but uh, that's another story. But uh, uh, I was in uh, Rome at, in November, and it was like fifty degrees. So, and then I went down to Pompeii. Pompeii was like eighty degrees. It was like wow, big difference. In the navy. <laughs> Oh, Tucson, yeah, holy crap, yeah. Well, you can get some hot weather there. Hottest weather I've been was actually here in Portland. Uh, not this year, but last year. Remember we had that all-time record of 116 degrees? Holy crap, that was, that was just unreal. We're up in the desert in Yakima, and Yakima can get 110 degrees, you know, during the day. In the Navy, sell the seven seas. Hey, seriously, I think that might be the hottest weather I have ever been in was the 116 degrees we had, not this last summer, but the summer before. It was just stupid. I mean, the poor birds. I I actually, I was out there with a hose, and I remember that was when I broke my um, broke my wrist, and I was uh, I was out there with the hose uh, uh, spraying down the birds because they were so miserable. They all just stood there as I sprayed them down. <laughs> I think I was really loved at that moment. <laughs> I had the mist thing on my uh, hose, and I, I literally did. I just misted them because they were so miserably hot. You know, it's like, oh. So I didn't want to lose my birdies. <laughs> I was Mary Poppins out there. I want you to know that. <laughs> In the Navy. <laughs> oh, cats. Navy will probably sue me now. But oh, my nephew's in the Navy. They can't. <laughs> in the Navy. <laughs> Sell the seven series. What I do is I really liquefy the paint so it's more like ink as I go across here. I want a lot of detail to the tree. I was never born. I was actually produced in a, a, a super secret facility in Ohio. Uh, a lot of people don't know that. Yep. That's a true story. Yes, it is. <laughs> So it's really kind of interesting when I go into a doctor, when they test the pulse and I got to make sure my battery's up and running so that it has, it produces the sound of the heart. 
you know, that's like, always a pain in the rear end. I tell you what, when I go in, yeah, I just let you know. Yeah. Yeah. In the Navy. <laughs> yeah. We'll be done with this one tomorrow. You know, I kind of want to add, I have some ideas going with the tree. It's scary. I always say the mind is a terrible thing. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I've been to British Columbia. Uh, that's the only Canadian province I've ever been to is British Columbia. That's north of us. Beautiful city. Now, uh, Vancouver, BC. And what gets me is the most expensive city now in uh, North America. It's like, holy crap. Beautiful, though. It is absolutely beautiful. I remember when a huge uh, percentage of uh, Hong Kong, when, when they uh, came back under control of China, uh, moved to uh, Vancouver, and they actually used to call it Hong Coover. <laughs> huge, a huge Chinese population there. Yeah. All right, people. We're getting there. We'll be done tomorrow, for sure. Uh, just want to kind of in the Navy. <laughs> oh boy. And so, tomorrow, what we're doing, clean up the sun. We're going to add some blossoms to the tree, some more blossoms, more uh, thing to the tree. Get this thing. We're going to clean up the sky in the background a little bit. And we should be done tomorrow. I'm, I'm pretty confident it's what we've done. If not, for some reason, uh, we'll definitely be done by Wednesday, but uh, this one will be done. And then, <clears throat> yeah, I actually sold paintings at uh, at uh, the new venue, so they want replacements this weekend. I already have enough, and so I'm not too concerned, but uh, that keeps me busy. <laughs> That's for sure. In the Navy. <laughs> All right. Seriously, thank you so much for joining me. We've got soul you know, going on here. So the Celtic kind of sun, raisins, as you would say, Anthony. <laughs> but no, we're going to get this one done tomorrow. I'm pretty sure tomorrow. You take care, stay healthy, stay safe. And uh, and we got the craziness tomorrow. Let's hope things uh, calm down. So you take care, seriously. Hope to see you back on tomorrow at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Remember that, Diana, Susan? Standard Time. That means we, we had a time change. Take care, seriously. And thank you to all those people keeping everything going. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa! Couldn't help myself again. <laughs> all right. Take care. Bye-bye.